Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be decorating the mantle, as I call it. We don't, it's not an actual mantle. It's really just the area above my television that kind of looks like a mantle. I want it to be a mantle. I pretend it's a mantle, so I decorate it. So basically, I want to do a decorate with me today. I'm going to show you how I'm going to put together a little spring, I'm really going to probably leave it up till fall, ensemble up there, and I'm going to go through every little step, show you how to do it, how I've done it. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, I just also posted a console table, like I've been kind of in my living room here doing decorate with me videos. Um, go check that one out because this kind of ties in the theme that I have going on in my living room here. And at some point I will spin you around and show you my couch and my coffee table and all that, but we're just gonna go one video at a time, a little bit of inspiration at a time, and let's get into this. So this right here is the area that I'm talking about. That strip right there is covering a cord that is our digital receiver up in the attic. So that ignore that. That is actually the whole reason why we're doing this is because I want to show you how to conceal things like that. So this is the space. Um, you're only missing about a foot up. Should we show you? So there's the view of the whole thing. It's ugly. There's a little bit of cord. It's dirty. Yeah, let's cover that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this really cool arched window. It's got wood on it. It's got, what is this called? I know there's a word for this, but I'm going to take this because it's the perfect size and height to absolutely disguise that really ugly strip. So as you can see, that fits up there perfectly. It disguises it. We no longer have to look at it. Next I'm going to take this wreath that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I want to add a little bit of greenery, a little bit of color to that. I mean, I don't want to cover up the scroll work or the wood too much because I really like that. But at the same time, my living room, like this whole wall, there are no windows in here. And so it's very dark. So it won't pop as well against the cream beige wall if we don't have a little color. So I'm going to take this and here's a trick I learned on YouTube, but I actually kind of thought about this in the past, but it just kind of like, oh yeah, I remember doing that with something else. What you do is you take one of these little curtain rod, you know, something they used to hang your curtains, and I actually use these for my curtains, so I had a bag of them laying around, but you can buy them at Walmart, Target, anywhere like that, Lowe's probably, and you just hook one of these onto the back of the wreath, just clamp it on, and then you have this hook that you can hang on anything. You can hang this onto a mirror. I'm gonna take and hang this on the highest point, right about here, on this pane. I'm short, so maybe I will hang this. Maybe I will ask my husband to hang this. Yep. That was harder than it looked. <laughs> Being short has its trials. Next, I'm gonna take this candle holder. This is something I've had for a while. My mom gave it to me. I think I remember us buying this a long time ago at Pier 1, but you can find these absolutely anywhere. But I wanna tie in the metal of this candle holder with the metal of this, what is this called? Like a cathedral window thing? Um, I love these flameless candles. I bought these in a set from Costco, but I'm going to link below a set I just recently bought off of Amazon. They add so much ambiance at nighttime. You can like turn off any, or just if you like low lighting, these are great. Um, they Most of them come with remotes. You can put them on a timer. You can change whether they flicker or whether they're a steady light. They're just really great. So I'm going to stick all of these up there on top of that candelabra. Okay, now I want to start to add in texture. And uh, we're working with a dark background, so these aren't going to show off as much, probably on camera, but in person they add just a little bit more natural texture. So when you think of, like, say, a forest floor, you not only have moss, but you have sticks. And I saw these at Hobby Lobby, and these are something you can absolutely use year-round. These are just twigs, sticks. I actually used these in my fall arrangement. So a lot of this is repurposed. Um, I have shown you some newer things that I've purchased, um, but for the most part, I buy things that I can use for more than one season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these on either side of the mantle flat so that as they're sticking out, you're just getting a whole lot of texture. And 
And I also want to mention if you have cats, <laughs> make sure that these things that you're sticking up there are secure. I have a very curious kitty and he likes to, you know, scope out the house between the hours of 2 and 5 a.m. And so we've ha I've already had to do this three times. <laughs> and so I know exactly where I want those twigs to go. Literally, this is me trying to figure out how to film this at different levels and everything. So bear with me, these will get more fluid, I promise. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to show you is I'm gonna go in with this really cool looking garland. This just makes me think of like, not a gnome house, but like, like a house in the woods that's just been there for a while and it's super covered with greenery and I love it. So this is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think the style of this, I'll leave the style number in the description box so you can know exactly which one it is, but I love it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drape this over the twigs and a little bit on top of the candelabra just to kind of secure it in there. This is going to be one of those things where you can kind of play with it. If you don't like something like hanging down in front of the TV or your mantle or whatever, it does have long enough to wait, or strands that you can put them up and just kind of layer it and have it just look a little bit more thick. Now it's time to kind of balance out the height. We have the center height right there, but I want to add height on either side. So I have two things to show you. Um, I got these twigs here from Hobby Lobby and they're just, I like a really small leaf on a strand. I just like the simplicity of it. I don't like something that's too busy considering this is a pretty busy uh, forest floor if you will. And then I'm going to stick them in this cute pitcher. Don't worry, I know this. there's a gaping hole right there but we're going to fill that in. But for now I just want to show you how I'm going to stick this up there and kind of, um, you can't see it, but on this side here, I have a large clock and then on this side here because I have bookshelves that are the same height. All the furniture is the same height. I have another decoration that we'll get to a different day over there, so I kind of want to keep the height of these items all the same. So we have the height on the left side. I want to mimic the height on the right side and I want to keep with the whites and the cream so we have the white outlining the centerpiece, we have the white of the cute little picture and now I'm going to go in with some candlesticks. These are from Hobby Lobby. They are two different sizes so we are going to go in and stick these over on the right side here. Okay, so there is a bit of a gap between that pitcher and the candlesticks. And so I'm going to fill it in with this cute little bird in a bird cage. I want to say I bought this from Home Goods a while ago, um, but there you can find these anywhere. Um, so I'm going to stick that over by the pitcher. feels like a bird would live there, you know what I mean? Okay, so on top of those candle stick holders, I'm not going to put candles because that would be redundant. We already have candles up there. So I have this really cool floral ball. I want to get another ball for the other candle stick holder, but for the sake of finishing this video, I have this one. I just don't like this one up there as much because it's a little bit too dark. I would like to do a lighter color so that it pops a little bit more and we don't have too many dark greens, I kind of like to vary my shades of green. So we're going to stick this one on one of the candlestick holders and then this one on the other. Okay, so having these little floral sprigs is absolutely, I think it's essential. Like to any decor is to have little sprigs of greenery that you can just kind of put places to conceal things you need to conceal to fill in gaps. It's just kind of like one of those I attribute it to like fashion or makeup. It's like something you just have to have. Like if you're gonna do your makeup, you're gonna probably put on a BB cream or a CC cream or a foundation, right? Or if you're gonna get dressed, like those layering pieces that are essential to make the outfit what it is. 
that's what I'm going to do with that gap in that picture is put this in and it also brings it to life because if you had a pot of flowers sitting out for a long time you would have tall things growing out of it but you would equally have things low ground things coming out of it the last thing that I'm going to do to this whole display is I feel like this greenery needs a little bit of floral coming out of it now I'm gonna show you what I have and what I've been putting in there but I'm still on the hunt for little tiny yellow flowers in a small sprig. I haven't gone to Michael's yet, and I know I'm pre-filming this before I go and get the yellow flowers, but I really just wanted to get this up to show you, to give you ideas, because I know a lot of you are probably starting to think about spring decorating very soon. So, I found these little flowers at Walmart. They were $2 for, oh my gosh, I think three of them. Like, they're really cheap, and I have, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, Six, I have nine, so I bought three bundles. Um, and so I'm going to take these and I'm just going to start to fill in in here and just kind of bring it to life. Once again, on a forest floor, you would have little, you know, wildflowers sprinkled throughout. So just kind of fill it in as you need. Now you could fluff that up, you could add even more texture, you could add more color. I think sometimes simple is beautiful. And I may go in with those yellow flowers, but I really like the simplicity of just a few white flowers living there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun decorating with you today. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new, please subscribe. would love to have you here. Stay tuned for more decorating videos, and I will create a playlist, too, of other ones that I've already done so you can just continue to watch if this is your jam. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll chat soon. Bye, guys.